Hello and welcome to our video, 10 informations you need to know about yesterday. In this video, we'll be covering some of the most important events that took place yesterday, giving you a quick summary of each one. Tornado wipes out town. Mississippi and Alabama have witnessed a death toll of no less than 26 individuals following a tornado that struck the southern states of the U.S. According to CBS, a storm system tore through Mississippi and generated a tornado that inflicted devastating damage on communities across the state. The news outlet reported that in Rolling Fork, a rural town located approximately 60 miles northwest of the state capital of Jackson, structures that once stood are now reduced to heaps of debris that have been scattered. The BBC confirmed that the town has been almost entirely wiped out. Hancock duped by pranksters. After falling victim to a prank by members of the campaign group, led by donkeys, Matt Hancock and Kwasi Cording were recorded agreeing to work for £10,000 per day to advance the interests of a fictitious South Korean firm. Cording had previously stated that he did not require an exorbitant fee, while Hancock confirmed that his daily rate was 10,000 sterling. Although there are no current restrictions on such engagements, politicians' external earnings are currently under intense scrutiny as per The Observer. Putin to move nukes to Belarus. According to reports, Vladimir Putin announced that he had reached an agreement with Belarus, his staunch ally, to deploy tactical nuclear weapons on its soil. This pact marks the first instance in which a portion of Russia's nuclear arsenal will be housed on foreign territory since 1996. The Belarusian regime is known for its unwavering support of the Kremlin and its backing of the invasion of Ukraine, as reported by the BBC. In CNN's view, Putin's decision to relocate nuclear weapons to Belarus is a strategy to unsettle the international community and divert attention from his domestic issues. Middle classes, like Sunak A polling expert, Lord Hayward, has stated that middle-class voters are gravitating towards the conservatives due to their admiration for Rishi Sunak. He further remarked that Labour has grown overly self-assured in recent times, resulting in an overestimation of Sir Keir Starmer's party's polling advantages. According to Lord Hayward, there are indications that voters in well-to-do regions are being won over by Sunak's competence. The latest Delta poll, which showed the Conservative Party gaining eight points to reach 35%, has given the party a boost, reducing Labour's lead to just 10 points. Trump rages at Texas rally. At a rally in Texas, Donald Trump expressed his anger over the various criminal investigations that have plagued him, according to the BBC. The former president stated that his personal, financial, and business affairs have all been scrutinized and disrupted, but he maintains that he is the most innocent man in the history of our country. CNN noted that his speech resembled his 2016 and 2020 presidential campaigns and was filled with many of Trump's oft-repeated untrue assertions. Concern over child strip searches The Sunday Times has reported that police are stopping and strip-searching children as young as eight. According to an analysis conducted by Dame Rachel D'Souza, the Children's Commissioner, a total of 2,847 young individuals have been subjected to such measures in England and Wales over the past four years, with almost a quarter of them aged between 10 and 15. The analysis also revealed that black children were six times more likely to be strip-searched than what would be expected based on national population figures. Food banks could exacerbate poverty. According to a letter from academics and charities published in The Observer, the growing reliance on food banks may discourage proper government policies to address poverty. The letter stressed that emergency food parcels are not a sustainable solution to hunger, and that while the efforts of food bank teams, often supported by corporate involvement, are commendable, they should not obscure the need for more substantial measures. Signatories to the letter include the Independent Food Aid Network in the UK, as well as academics from Austria, Germany, and the US. Andrew, to write explosive memoir. The Mail on Sunday has reported that Prince Andrew is considering writing an explosive tell-all autobiography in an attempt to set the record straight in the wake of the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. However, the paper noted that his previous effort to do so, that a notorious BBC Newsnight interview in 2019, backfired spectacularly. More questions for Ofsted. 
The Observer reported that stress caused by Ofsted inspections was cited in coroner's reports on the deaths of 10 teachers over the past 25 years. Researchers have also linked school reports to heart attacks, strokes, and nervous breakdowns. The findings, released by the Hazards Campaign Charity and the University of Leeds, will fuel the outpouring of anger in the sector over the death of Ruth Perry, a headteacher in Berkshire who took her life in January. Arrest in Hammond Blackmail Claim West Midlands police have arrested a man suspected of blackmailing TV presenter Alison Hammond, according to reports. The 36-year-old was apprehended in Warwickshire after Hammond received threats that false and damaging allegations would be spread about her if she failed to meet certain demands. The Sun newspaper claimed that Hammond had paid the blackmailer large amounts of money and even gifted him a BMW worth £5,000. The presenter is best known for her work on the ITV daytime show This Morning.